a poem that was written in 2009, I think in Afghanistan, but it brings some of the sacrifices that we've marked on the war memorial for so many years and now here today into, into the current day. The news has spread far and wide. Another comrade has sadly died. A sunset vigil upon the sand as a soldier leaves this foreign land. We stand alone and yet as one in the fading light of a setting sun, we've all gathered to say goodbye to our fallen comrade who's set to fly. The eulogies read about their life, sometimes with words from pals or wife. We all know when the CO's done what kind of soldier they'd become. The Padre then calls us all to pray. The bugler has last post to play. The cannon roars and belches flame. We will recall with pride their name. A minute's silence stood in place as tears rolled down the hardest face. Deafening silence fills the air with each of us in personal prayer. Revali sounds and the parade is done. The hero remembered, forgotten by none. They leave to start the journey back in a coffin draped in the Union Jack. If you are of the praying sort, then join me in prayer. But regardless, perhaps we can bow our heads and have a time where we remember those who have made that sacrifice. Let's pray. God, we remember the courage, devotion to duty and the self-sacrifice of the men and women in our armed forces, the toil, endurance and suffering of those who were not in uniform, the support of those who sent us help from afar or came and stood by our side. We remember those who were wounded in the fight, those who perished in air raids at home, those who fell in battle and are buried at sea or in some corner of a foreign land, and especially those whom we have known and loved, whose place is forever in our hearts. We remember those who were our enemies, whose homes and hearts are as bereft as ours, whose dead lie also in a living tomb of everlasting remembrance. We remember those who came back, those whose lives still bear the scars of war, those who lost sight or limbs or reason, those who lost faith in God and humanity. We remember the continuing grace that you have given us, God, your love that holds all of us in one, your love that inspires us to live a different way, to whom no one is ever dead but all are alive in you. May your love surround us today as we mark this moment, as we remember and pledge ourselves once more to live for peace. Amen. <laughs>
the guns fell silent, so do we. Let us all take a short time to remember those who fell and didn't come home. Tribute. You were so brave, you were so strong. We want to thank you for all you have done. The poppy fields for those who have died, the medals for those who have survived. You fought for our country, you fought for freedom. We want to thank you for all you have done. For those who died, wives and children left with sadness. For those who survived, wives and children left with gladness. We gave great sacrifices, you lost so much. We want to thank you for all you have done. No memorial is tall enough, no field is big enough, no thank you is powerful enough, no medal is shiny enough. Without you, we would not be here. Today we and hope can recommit ourselves, as we did just a month ago at the War Memorial, to peace. And these words from John's Gospel, for me, say something about that peace that we might be all left with if we were trying. Don't let this throw you. You trust God, don't you? Trust me. There's plenty of room for you in my father's home. If that weren't so, would I have told you that I am on my way to get a room ready for you? And if I'm on my way to get your room ready, I'll come back and get you so that you can live where I live. And you already know the road I'm taking. I'm leaving you well and whole. That's my parting gift to you. Peace. I don't leave you the way you're used to being left, feeling abandoned or bereft. So don't be upset. Don't be distraught. I hope today we can all commit ourselves 
whatever our backgrounds, to peace. And when we see this comrade looking at his friends over there, then we might, all of us, when we walk past here, commit ourselves once more to living for peace and never allowing this sort of thing to happen again. Thank you for, to all of you for being here today. We will um, go back into the Legion in a moment and I believe everyone's invited to, to join us in the Legion. So please uh, follow us in um, and to warm up, if nothing else. And as you do, you can have a wee look at our silence. 